King Cool as a name was inspired by uh, the King Creole Elvis film and Kid Creole and the Coconuts. And that was mainly the aesthetics and the sounds of the words. And um, yeah, there's a few meanings that have been created after the creation of the actual name. So, yeah. I would describe the King Cool sound by uh, using all genres as the meat and my brain as the grinder, and it's like a meat grinder. So you get the meat and you put it through the grinder, which is my brain, and out comes my music. I feel proper, but I run it away. Jay Dillow was a very, uh, very big influence to my own music, and um, it's a very interesting thing what he does, mainly a sample. And I think sampling is quite an interesting thing. And that's how I used to make a lot of music, was by just sampling a little section of a piece of music that I really like and uh, repeat it on and on and on. And so, um, yeah, he's got a big influence and I think, you know, his legacy is important. The release of that album, Six Feet Beneath the Moon, is hopefully going to be on the 24th of August. And um, I want to get it out quite soon. And it's been a very long, very tedious, no. <laughs> it's been a, very, uh, been a very good process creating it because it's got songs from five years ago up until the songs from last week, so yeah. At the moment, I really like the artists I'm really into at the moment are um, I'm really into Rap King, I'm really into a band called Silas, a guy called Jamie Isaacs, a guy called Jerk Curb. Um, there's loads of them, the list can go on and on. There's a lot of underground music that I'm really into. And I think music at the moment's getting better and better and better. And like the underground is really, really strong and really pushing something. I don't care about Yeah, I definitely think south of the river there's a lot of a lot of stuff getting organised and a lot of stuff slowly perpetuating what could be called as a movement. But um, I don't know, I, I think that there's always gonna be them them events, but it's just a case of making something which is uh, not a routine but something that happens more and something that uh, is happening every week and people can go to and relate to and it become more and more familiar so I think there is like there's always been a lot of subcultures especially in London that have been that have had their groups of people but at the moment music has got one in the south of the river which is coming along quite nicely yeah the four freshmen in 1956 would be nice to cover one of my songs they, I got a lot of influence from them, and um, I don't know, uh, Jimi Hendrix, yeah. <laughs>